XL12 back together. Uh, yeah, it's not very interesting, is it? But we can get on that. This is going to be a short video. I'm not going to show the entire process because there will be some swearing because whenever I put the ignition back on these, sometimes the coils aren't right or the points aren't right and it has come apart a few times, but we'll see what happens. Again, talk to you later. Bye. So, got the XL12 back together. Compression seems awesome. It's still, it's actually, today when I tested it, it was at, actually almost at 160 PSI. Which is, uh, it's pretty good. I put a 24 inch hard nose bar, which actually this would have been an option. And this bar would be period correct for if you had this with 24 inch bar, which is a, which was an option. But kind of scares me because when it comes down to it, the XL12. This is the PTO bearing, the drive case side, the bar side, bearing for the crank. Now, just look at that for a second. That is a caged needle bearing. It's maybe three quarter inches overall diameter, well, five eighths uh, inside diameter. Whereas you take that compared to a Super XL, that's a Super XL bearing, output bearing. It's a roller bearing. I mean, this one's toast, but I mean, that's that's quite a bit more meaty than the uh, XL12. Um, but we'll see. I'm gonna come up with it this weekend. I'm gonna try and test run tomorrow after work. I might post a just a short on that, and we'll see what happens. Talk to you later, everybody.